What we're going to do now is have a quick run through um, a complete knee examination. Um, so again, first thing you do is introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Fraz Hussain. Hi, I'm Sarah. Do you mind if I examine your knees? Yeah, is that okay? So if I'm just looking to start off with, with her sat down there, making sure she's got no walking aids around. If I can ask you to stand up for me, please, Sarah, uh, and just face that way. So you're looking from the front of the knees, and what I'm looking for is any quadceps wasting, um, whether her kneecaps are facing forward, um, looking at the alignment of her knees, whether she's got any valgus or varus deformity, and Sarah has got a normal uh, four or five degree uh, valgus alignment of her knees. Looking at her feet um, to see if his, uh, her arches are, are dropped, um, whether she has any uh, valgus deformity of her feet. Can I get you to turn that way? Looking from the sides, um, you can comment on the quads, on the hamstrings, whether she has any fixed flexion deformity of her knees, making sure she, she's able to brace them right the way back. And if you can face the wall for me. Looking from the back, looking for any wasting of the, the calves, the hamstrings, there's no s swelling around the back of the knees and her heels are in neutral alignment. So, Sarah, can I ask you to walk for me? Do you use any walking aids at all? No. No, OK. So if I can ask you just to walk up and down. And what I'm looking for is a normal stance and swing phase in her gait, uh, checking for any antalgic gait. I'm also going to try to get right the way down into while well, she walks towards me, looking for any val varus or valgus um, thrusts in her knee. OK, can I ask you to pop up on the couch now? Um, <coughs> Now, in the exam, you just want to get them nice and relaxed. Um, ideally, I'd have her laying light, right the way flat. Um, looking at her, her legs, um, again, first thing you do is to make sure it's not painful anywhere. Uh, are your knees painful or very tender anywhere? No. No, OK. Um, looking at the, uh, her legs, uh, you can see she's got no quadriceps wasting. Um, looking very carefully for any scars around her knees, I can't see any, and her skin appears normal uh, distally. Um, Going on to palpate, um, just feeling for any temperature uh, difference over her knees, uh, if there's any erythema or warmth. Um, feeling for tenderness over the anterior compartment, over the quadriceps, over the patella, the patella tendon, or the tibial tuberosity. Feeling for an effusion, I'm just going to start off uh, just above the capsule, sweep, sweep fluid down, empty out the medial gutter, and see if any fluid sweeps over from the lateral gutter to the medial side. Um, Ideally, I'd do it on both sides to compare both sides. Uh, for the patella tap, sweeping fluid down and seeing if the patella taps. If I can get you to bend your knees up, um, bring, bring them both up to 90 degrees. Um, bring the ankles together so they're at the same alignment. I'm getting right the way down and just seeing if there is any posterior sag. So she has no posterior sag. Um, going on to palpation. Palpating, starting off on the lateral joint margin and just seeing if she's got any tenderness around there. Is that tender anywhere? No. Always looking at the patient while I'm doing this. Over the patella tendon, tibial tuberosity and around the medial side. Is that tender? Over the medial no. collateral ligament. And just feeling around the back of the knee. Is that tender anywhere? No. Okay, fine. Um, going on to move the knees, I'm just going to see if she's got any, um, l any fixed flexion deformity, making sure her knees go nice and straight on both sides. Looking for an extensor lag. If I can get you to bend both your knees up, popping my arm behind and get you to straighten up both your knees. That's fine in this one. You see she has no extensor lag. On flexion, um, starting off with the active flexion. Can I get you to bend this right the way up? And this one, okay. Um, she's able to flex her knees to around um, 125 to 130 degrees. I can just about get her a, a jot further but no further than that. Can I get to straighten your knees out again? Feeling for any collateral ligament injuries? Can I just uh, take your knee and you now get nice and relaxed for me? Okay. I'm just going to put some stress on your knee and just uh, 20 degrees, I'm just seeing if it opens out. And she's got a one millimetre opening on the medial side with a firm end point. In full extension, it tightens up quite nicely. Feeling for the lateral collateral ligament? I'm just going to bring her across and just see if that opens up. You can get her into a figure of four and actually feel over the lateral collateral ligament as well. Um, and that, you can feel it just above the fibula head and that appears normal as well. Um, assessing the anterior cruciate ligament, I'm just going to do a Lachman's test, bend it up to about 20 degrees and just see if the knee bends, if the tibia moves forward on the femur. 
Um, anterior draw, I didn't demonstrate before because I don't find that a particularly useful test, but I will show you how to do that. You bend the knee up to 90 degrees, you stabilise the foot. Do you have any problems with your feet at all? No. I'm just going to put some pressure on your foot. Bring your hands up against the, the hamstring tendons and bring your thumbs round to the front of the tibia and see if the tibia moves forward at all. And she's got a nice firm end point there. Now if she has subtle issues, you bring your thumbs forward onto the femoral condyles over the front of the tibia and see if it moves up any further. I'd also like to um, assess a McMurray's test, but um, that can be painful. Uh, I'd also like to examine the hips and check uh, for any neurovascular compromise. Thank you very much.